Hello, YouTubes. Hello, YouTubes. It's, it's me and Pavlikich. Gonna be looking Hello. at more of my games. So this was round two of the MLK. Technically a win, but I, I just played like shit the whole time. And I'm not proud of this game. But, I mean, I'm sure there's some, some interesting things in here. Kind of blocked it out. <laughs> this is the... I don't know how to say it without spoiling. But this game made my head hurt a lot. The scotch game? Yeah. Because there were so many pins all the time. Yep. That was the theme of this game, pins. P pins. Or every move there was a pin. All right, every here's single move. Pin number one. Yeah. Pin number two. Yep. Alright, so your boy was already out of theory here. Here? Yeah. Because <laughs> Daniel doesn't play B3, so why would I ever look at that move? He's the only person I know who actually plays this. Oh. Okay. That's why I spent so long on this move. Um, but he played, like, the best move. Yeah, um, but I also had convinced myself that it was bad. <laughs> which is why when he played his next move... Since I thought G6 was like, I was like really unsure about it and nervous, I thought it was like, oh, did I blunder? But he blundered. And then I didn't play he the blundered. right move because I was psychologically all fucked up. Um, so G6, the it's kind of straightforward. He opened this diagonal, so I put bishop on that diagonal. Yep. And then there will be even more pins so I can play D6 and undermine the pawn. Undermine the E pawn? No, that's a theme. That's right. That's what we do. But then he went queen e4, and I just sat there because I was just convinced I had already messed up. Um, I I had no idea what the fuck this move was. So this move is his point is that he's threatening to take my knight now because he's no longer in a pin. But, but you're moving your queen again, and you can attack the queen. It's true. Easily. The thing is, the thing with f5, and the reason I didn't play f5, was purely just, like, it's committal, which was throwing me off. It's making a weakness that was, like, very stressful to me. Mm -hmm. And I was just not evaluating any of this correctly. So the reason f5 is good here is because he's moving his queen for a third time. Yeah. And now he's back in the pin. I I guess I was thinking he could have he could go like here or something. But then I have knight before. Uh, I don't know where I thought he was putting his queen actually. Maybe queen d three or I don't know. Well, but then he's still in the pin. It's still in the pin, yeah. Oh, and I, I take on e five. Stupid. Um, yeah, he had. Oh, exactly. These are his only options. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. And I I knew that yeah. much, but I I don't know. I I was like maybe he induced f5 on purpose and like i don't know i have a the, i have control over e4 now which is important yeah but i also th didn't think f5 was good uh because i thought he wanted to save f6 to one day undermine e pawn and also just moving the f pawn so early on was like well like what you said committal yeah because already your, your queen side is open so the king the king needs a shelter one day. I, I, f5 is not an easy move to make. I think the reason I all. don't play f5 is pu like purely meta. Um, that I'm out of theory against an 1800 on move 9. Um, in an opening where you have to know theory. Mm -hmm. Was very upsetting to me. And I was mad at myself for not using my time well. To prepare for things like this. I see. And um, then he played a move I didn't expect. And because I will assume that I'm stupid before I will assume my opponent is. That's what happened. And then I retreated a piece. Mm -hmm. Then for the rest of the game I just thought I was worse. And like I was just going to lose. Because I was on a very long losing streak to low rated players. Um... So I was just having a lot of psychological issues. 
such. Um, However, things turned around, maybe? I got lucky. But you didn't resign. Yeah. I, okay, Knight B6, it says blunder, but what it means is that this was a really big blunder, I'm winning, and now it's just equal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I thought this was forced. Um, for Same. some reason, Bishop G7 is also fine, which is like, what? Really? Because the rook on A1 hangs. And now F5. Oh my god, now yeah. F5. And now, like, he can't go here anymore. If he goes here, then what? Eesh. F4? And then if he goes back? Then I just take on F1 and then- Okay, alright, that's- okay, sure. And, and I- and I- Eesh. But it's so tough to play over the board. Like... And I- why don't I take on F1 here? Why is F4 that- that good? I have no idea. Cannot see. I don't guess. if he takes, do you have... I don't know, Rook of Fate? Or is it simply Bishop takes e5, forking the... Forking everything in pin, yeah. More pins. Just like, why do we want the queen here? Is my question, I guess. So we can take here? Am I taking there after? What are we doing after this? Queen takes e5. Is it simply that? And if the queen were here, it would be defended. So we can... Oh no, if the Ooh. queen were on e3, he has, he has knight c... No, he doesn't. So what's the point? They both look great. I he don't can, get it. He can he can never defend the, the rook. But I think your point that the queen is not defended here, so he has to react. Yeah. And he still ha like this bishop still is gonna take. Oh, the and rook, my queen is, is is pinned is more important. Um, and he doesn't oh, have to yeah. move the piece that is pinning me. More pins. More pins. Go pins. That's right. Okay, so at f5 and, you know, the game would be over soon. But I just was like, oh, I guess I'm but, I guess g6 was a blunder. <laughs> then I thought I was worse and I'm not. It's just equal. I see. Now I'm playing like I, I... I'm playing as if I have a disadvantage. You know, I'm playing passive and just like, shitty because I think I'm worse. And I'm not. I didn't really do anything wrong. Except for this. Really? Except for knight b6. How the game went, I thought you played similar, sort of, to how you played against Daniel. In which game? The over-the-board game you played at home. Um... But you, the knight went different ways. You went to knight e7, c5, knight c6. Well, that that was thematic. Like, I knew I knew that was, like, a thing that you do. Um, yeah, but I don't know. So bishop oh, a3, I wasn't s sure, like, what was happening here. I didn't think this was such a big deal. Just gonna say this is the first bishop a3 of the tournament. But it won't- will but it be the last? Find out. Wait. Wait. I don't know what we're- okay. I, I, I have a terrible memory. I don't remember any of my games until I'm looking at them, so... It'll be a surprise for me, too. Yep. So it's like, I'm manually castling, but g6 weakened the dark squares, so it does make sense that he would trade them off. Um, and now I'm concerned about this happening. Or yes. like... Or like... How would I... Just, just 9 f3, any, or 9 f3, d4. It's... Yeah. Uh, that night coming game was always scary. Which he ended up doing. Yeah, I mean, F4 kind of has to happen, though. Otherwise, I just take his pawn. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, okay. An another retreat. Yeah. But this made sense. Like this. There was an obvious plan, sort of. Yeah, so my plan was that, okay, these pieces both suck. So I would like for them not to do that. Um, and if I can get my pawn here, my knight here, and my bishop here, I'm doing fantastic. Even if I don't get my bishop here and he, he stops it from happening, if I have my knight here and my pawn here, I think having a knight here is worth having this weak square, because it's not that weak, because I still have a c pawn. Right? Exactly. But um, uh, I, I always thought if he gets c5 in before you do anything 
then everything is climbed down. He gets c5 in, but then I get this square for my knight. I mean, I guess I guess if you're you're saying after, right now, after yeah, after after knight c8. Uh, but I still play knight e7, and I can go to either one of these squares. That can be true. Maybe I don't, I don't know how good my knight one. is on d5. Like I don't even know if that's something I want, but it's better than on b6. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. I think that's, it's funny that I have to like do this to put my knight here when it technically could go there in one move. <laughs> and yeah. I'll do a little square dance, if you will. It's the square. 25 turn. Hello, Chewy. Hi, Chewy. Was Chewy commentating on this game? No, this was a solo. I see. Gang. I hate this position too. It was a scotch. Um. So the but the thing is, like yeah. every move, I tried to to figure out if f6, f5, d6, or d5 works. I, I th every move I tried. Yeah, timing is super important. Yeah. Um, so it's so hard. I also like was taught, you know, just playing with the idea of knight d6 to support a bishop b7 thing. Yeah, yeah. knight d6 was the plan. Huh? It, it's hard to time. Yeah. Because, you know, he, he could just, like, step out of the pin, and then it's like... Because those that's three moves I have to make. Yes. He's Here, also allowed no, to make moves. Exactly. It's like a race now. And if... I think he misplayed in general. Yeah, he did, but... Uh, I don't know. He was playing a high-rated player, so maybe... Just, he was nervous? Yeah. Makes sense. I'm not even sure how you really take advantage of knight c8. That's why I'm confused why it's such a bad move. Maybe like knight f3? Uh, hmm. Yeah, that's annoying. I think I, I was... But maybe h6 now. Yeah, I, was, I think yeah. I wanted to play that here. I'm not, again, I'm pushing pawns in front of my king, so that's maybe probably bad. Maybe, exactly. Maybe he'll just do this and then that. And he can even play knight d4 after he plays h6. Oh, this too, yeah. That's a good move. Yeah, that knight could have been much more annoying, I think. Mm. Okay, I understand now. Because <laughs> if, I, if I go here, he plays... something. Some... Queen... Anywhere that... Uh, anywhere that's not... Uh, D three or E two. Oh well, yeah, what he, what? Yeah. Oh, I, I for some reason I thought I could go here. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, sure. If only C five could be some supported in some way, you know. Because if it were yeah. supported, then uh, I could play C five, defending the bishop and trapping the queen, sort of, but not really. Yep. Like if I could play Queen C six and then C five. <laughs> Yes. That would be ideal, because then I'm just <laughs> trapping the queen. And I I was seeing this idea a lot in the game. It's like, can I can I just like can I just like can I just like just like put it put it there and then and then play c5? Why not? Yeah. Why can't can we I? say it's legal? Can we agree? Yeah. Yeah. It's like there's just no way yeah. I can ever make that happen though. It's just terrible. Mm -hmm. Also, when his queen was on uh, e4, d6 was never sort of an option because it hangs c6. Yeah. Yeah, that was that really was annoying. annoying. Yeah. So it's so tough. So but okay, G3 and... G3 uh, is just nothing special, I would say. Yeah. Um, it's like you make a pawn chain, you make Eric Rosen happy. But... And there is merit else. in that. There is merit. Go, Eric. Uh, yeah, I mean, I understand the motives. But now I'm putting my knight here with a tempo. And now I just I want to get in there. Yeah. And like exactly. Maybe even I get here, and then and then I, and then all of a sudden everything's gonna be fine. If I could only yeah. Um, but he goes. He went queen d4, right? Yeah, queen d4. Yes. Moving the queen again. True. I. Even though you you moved your knight a bunch, but you also moved the queen. Yeah. So, so it. it that means it's equal, or something. Exactly. Right? Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, so 
This is a threat. This is not yep. a threat. Although it could that be is not castles. legal. Yeah. Now it really becomes a race of if he can castle at the right moment. True, true. But if he's castling queenside, yes. then I don't know. Like that, that could be dangerous for him. My pieces are just so bad, though. I can't. They just suck. <laughs> they have no. They're right. so bad. Th this C four pawn is doing everything. Yeah. I mean, his pieces aren't amazing, but they're not doing Th negative. <laughs> uh, they don't have a negative impact on his position, even if they have a neutral one. Um, yeah. Because they have the potential to have a positive impact. Yeah. Exactly. They have a future. What That's are what, I was what are what are these pieces potential? <laughs> a miracle. Well, That's my miracle. Four moves in one. Yeah. If I can just if if he just gives me four extra moves, I'll be fine. So yeah. I played Bishop B seven with a very subtle threat of C five. Um, very subtle. But Mm -hmm. Um, but he played queen c5, which is an move, I, which is a move I expected. I thought he was gonna play c5, pawn to c5. C5, I thought, I thought yeah, I thought just like knight f5 and um. But it it will like he gets bishop c4 in, and this bishop, your bishop will never see. Well, where the do you light put, where do you put your queen? Because I'm gonna play d5 next. I can reroute the bishop this way eventually. You're gonna play C D after D five? And then I'll take and if you play Bishop F four I think I just go D five. And I, I don't know okay. if that's good or not. I mean Oh no I can't. I like see. depending I think you have to play Queen C three, so I can't ever play D five because this is this is an issue. Uh huh. That's yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. That okay. So C five is probably very good. Yeah, I thought C five was so and so logical because you just played Bishop B seven. So it blocks your bishop completely. Yeah, I thought I could just play d5 here, but I can't. Uh, I see, I see. I see your point. It's bad. It's a bad thing to miss. That's why queen c5 was so weird to me. How do I... Because the, the two moves I considered were, were these two. Um, but mm -hmm. I, I, I thought like this just didn't have much bite to it. Oh, wait. Okay, but if I play like... No, I have queen e7. Okay. <laughs> Woo! I Maybe have... even black is preferable there. Yeah. Because your king is more comfy. Maybe. Yeah, you should play it out so that yeah, people yeah. know. So obviously taking, I think, is just just bad. It just gives me what I want. Like I, I might even play c5 and then take just because I can. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. Um. So I take right away. Bishop c4 here. I mean, this this way. This this way, he has to make a move, and then this here is not so good because I'm. Instead of my pawns being here, they're here. Yep. It. So I think black is just better here. Yeah, a miracle. Now he's the one with the king in the center and the stupid pieces. Give him the old switcheroo. Yeah, yeah. So he's not gonna take, um, because that would just make me very happy, which is not something you want to do with your opponent. Um, he could go pawn grabbing, but I can't see how that's ever gonna work out for him, especially now with this pawn here, because he can't retreat, so he can't even do, he can't do that now. True. Um, if castles, uh, uh, it's hard to find the plan for me. Yeah, now it is. Now it's very tricky. You don't have anything open. It's a position where, like... What do I do? Like, bishop You're not gonna save. go... What does that do? Ugh. Keeping the position do... closed like this just makes me suffocate. Do you wanna go... I don't know, a5? It's an interesting pawn sack. I definitely don't think you should take it. And I mean, he just castled, so you're gonna, you wanna attack him. And also, you're gonna play King G7 one day to connect these guys. But it is very, very hard to play. Cause he can go, he can actually go G4. Okay, I think I understand. So. Yeah? 
So I want to go here, but the knight is a problem. So I'm threatening bishop h3, and what the fuck do I do about that? Ugh. Nothing? Mm. I would say that this knight is a little bit better than this bishop. A little bit. Just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Yeah, all of your pieces are on light squares. It's I, so... I think resigns here. <laughs> Could be. So I have to like play move an here. D4 is not an option, is it? I, I think it's something to look at. Because it frees up C4. And there are three pieces he wants to put on C4, I think. Yeah. I want my knight on d5. So, knight e7? Retreating move. More retreats. Knight e7 could be good because it, it prevents uh, bishop h3. I, I just don't know how I'd prevent this. I don't- I feel like I can't. It is difficult. We have to or play maybe... something like g5. Ugh. I don't think that's a move. It might be what I have to do. I don't see any other way. Cause... Cause okay, you know, I don't know which one I wanna do. This- this is awful. I mean, I can take it play Queen H6. It's like... Complicated. Make you- make you like, I don't know. There's more pins. This- this could be worse. That is true. I mean, he's... Ah, oh, can play book G8. Fuck. As soon as this bishop gets out, it's over for you. Yeah, you just wait. <laughs> One day. Hypothetically, this could be an okay <laughs> position for me. Yep. Oh yeah, you could just go knight g5 here. That's true. Oh, what, what am I- what doing? What- Th this now? What- what did queen do? Let's say, um. hypothetically. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, he has this backwards pawn. Like, this is. I feel like this isn't too bad. Maybe I activate my rook and put the bishop here somehow. Find a decent square for my knight, hypothetically. Oh, like, I mean, okay, now that I move my g pawn, like, I could do that. I don't know. Like, not right now, but I don't know. I think this is. g5 is a way to get counterplay. Um, unless it's just refuted easily, which it might be. Like, okay, let's let's look at this. No, I, th uh, I think I'm happy here. Like, trading queens is what I want. Yeah. So. Yeah, this is giving you what you want. But he's never gonna do it. This move... Maybe still this, and this is like... Okay, I'm hanging a knight. That would be good. Exactly. Hang the knight. I have to play bishop c8 to prepare this. But can he take now g4? And he can trade trade and... Your king is open? I'm not listen. I'm not saying this is good for black. I'm saying but this is black survived. way better. Yeah, this is way better than. I of I would take white uh, every day here. White is just I, probably clearly better, but. Yeah, you at least are alive, and that's what counts, right? That's right. But yeah, I have to do something about that. So, I don't think I don't know. I I would probably play g5 here, but. Anyway, what the hell are we talking about? Queen C5. That was a rabbit hole. Yep. Queen C5, I was like, I didn't think it was good. I was happy to see it, but I could see why someone would play it. Mm -hmm. Um, because castling, there's this is a big threat all of a sudden because it's pinned. Yeah. More pins. Yay! More headaches. So, where did I play here? Moving the oh, queen yeah. like oh, yeah. fourth time. F six. F six. Um finally it's I have good timing with F six. Finally. Because he moved off of this diagonal. Yes! That sorry, that's also one of the reasons why I didn't like Queen C five. Like putting the um uh, having the queen on this diagonal is key. Mm hmm He he released control over some of these dark squares, so now now it's like yes. now or never. F six, you know. Exactly. I, I it's forced. Um, and then he shocked me. <laughs> I like jumped out of my seat and had a heart attack. Just kidding. <laughs> but like, why are you castling? Like, if you were gonna castle, why didn't you do it earlier, or something? 
Uh, I see your point. I thought Bishop G2 was a great move here. That's what I told him in the postmortem. And I, I didn't know what the fuck to do, honestly. Um, mm. He's castling this way, and my, my king is... Like, after I played F6, this is a problem. And Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if, if I take here, he just castles. This is what yep. I was I was telling my opponent I was afraid of. I don't know if it's good, but... Um, my king is severely fucked. That is true. And you still have the... The dead bishop, your semi-open b file is useless now because he didn't castle long. So and yeah, your king is not cozy at all anymore. Right, and my pieces still suck. Yeah. Well, okay. So king g seven, he just builds up on the pin. Now he's, now he's gonna push take the pawn. it. He's just yeah, gonna take the pawn it. Is dead. And I can yep. resign. I think I actually have to. Just, just do this. Which is like, ah, holy, f really? Oh, I just gotta go for it. But oh, I, okay, I, I thought this position didn't look fun for me at all. That is true. I can agree with that. I do think it requires accuracy from White, though. And also, it's just an idea that I don't think he would find because it's kind of like a critical-looking position. Um. So you think you need to be fast. So like castling queenside is usually like a fast move compared to castling kingside. Um, mm -hmm. It's like rapid, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... I hear you. And it feels like the position calls for something like this. I mean, knight f3 is also just totally fine. Like, just defend the pawn. Um, but not exactly. That's what I was saying previously. Like, just activate the fucking knight. Like, the knight on d2 was useless yeah so so my advice to him would be look at how bad my pieces are and try and make your pieces the opposite of that and that way the, these pieces become even worse compared to how yeah. good your pieces are yep um and there's a line given here by the computer from the analysis hooky seven i don't i don't like any of this that black is doing um do I have to take that? Uh, what else do you want to do? Play... Move your knight? Mm. 94? No. 90, oh, 94 is... Oh, 94 is maybe good. And then f5? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. And then you can play c5. No, even c5. c5! Woo! c5! Oh my oh god! My god. <laughs> it's the dream position! We did it! <laughs> like, wait, no, my one yeah. of my knight here, never mind. It's not the dream position. Oh. <laughs> okay. I thought it was, though. <laughs> it's pretty close. Almost there. Oh, you can just do this, though. Not that! <laughs> so I can't do that. Well... Like, maybe d5 is, is just fine. Like, d5. Def defend the threat and defend the threat. Okay. Yeah. Fuck. I don't know. Um, it's a weird position. Um, castling queenside, it was just, just like, I, I just, I, I just felt like I was gonna win all of a sudden. Like, the hope it's came back. the threat, right? The light inside of me that had died, um, just like, had a spark in it after castle's queenside. <laughs> so oh I was God. like, okay, sure, I'll take the pawn, I'll, I'll take a free pawn, and like, this was his point, that it's, he's gonna take care with this rook. But now his yeah. his king is like way weaker over here than it is here for some reason. I think that's funny. Um, it's fucked up. He gave up all control over this diagonal, and now I'm going to get it. So yeah, this move I'm not happy with for my opponent. I think why are you doing this if you don't have to? Like just play bishop g two and like you can double. Like there's no rush. How am I going to defend? Yeah, that? you can never even push e four. That pawn is dead, always. Yeah. So, so, so just like no... develop your pieces. Yeah, exactly the same, uh, hit, the same help as like previous moves. Just develop your pieces so that they're way better than your pieces. It's really hard to attack with one piece or one queen. Like it's it's a lot easier to attack with all your pieces developed. That's that's my advice of the day. Go pieces. Yes.
Not peace. Pieces are required in chess. Anyway. Yeah. Um, so he took here, and I was just like <laughs> really happy because I was like, "Oh, my king is like safe. Oh my god, my yeah. knight isn't my knight isn't under pressure anymore, and my my rook is like on an open file, and 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 yeah. like and like, oh, I'm gonna like kick his rook out, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna open this shit up, and I'm gonna play d6 and c5. And my bishop's gonna be good. Oh my god, and his king is weak, and he can't move his rook. And uh, anyway, it was I was uh I was feeling okay about this. Anyway. Because the, the rook is pinned. This is a pin. Well, okay, I mean, yeah. not here first, but, like, this this is the real threat. Um, yep. Because if he moves away, I take knight, and if he goes here, then this will become a threat when I recapture on e8. So the rook mm -hmm. is essentially pinned. So I, could, I couldn't be happier. Um, he plays this move. Also, yeah, not, also not addressing the threat. Of, also, there are a bunch of queen a7 ideas. Where yeah. you will just... Rook a8. Yeah, queen a7 is an idea sometimes. Here I can just. I yeah, can just yeah, do this. here. I think it was previously. Previously, uh, yeah, there were ideas where his, like, I don't know, I wanted to trap his queen in some way, like with yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. And also, you're attacking the a2 pawn. Right. So. It's, yeah. We defend by attacking. Um, so, yeah. knight f7 was a huge threat, which he missed. Yeah. I don't know. How, uh, this is this is a tough a critical position though. It's a retreating move. Mm -hmm. So how and you already moved your knight like fifty times? So how do you even address that threat? What was I? I remember I was thinking he had like I actually wasn't sure. I'm still not sure how to defend knight of seven. It looks looks terrible. Oh, maybe he has to like bishop mm. d three so he can block both of these checks. Yeah, bishop d3 um, just defends the squares that white needs to defend. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta answer the threat. Yeah. Oh, okay, so, the, so there's a good question in chat. Knight f7, what if knight e4? Yeah. Um, maybe this was his idea, but I take here and I go here. Yes, the, there was this trick, yep. Maybe, I, maybe that's what he missed, actually. I, I saw it because I've been doing Puzzle Rush nonstop, but... Um, I missed it. Chat helped me. Uh, yeah, I should have yeah. explained that. That was obviously the like the most uh, critical point um, about knight f seven. So yeah, I think he, I think he missed that. I just have knight takes e five here. Yep. Um, so okay, but he saw it now. I think when I actually played it, he realized that I could do that. So he goes for um, a last hurrah, if you will. Play queen c three. Accurate move. Um, this is a position where I have one winning move, one equal move, and the rest of my moves I'm losing. Um, so it's you should maybe talk about queen a1. Yeah, so the what? problem with queen yeah. a1 is he goes king c2. And yeah, hit it's so annoying. Whoa! Wait. Oh, Whoa. you sounded like, like someone else there for a second. I thought Chewie joined the call. Um, Jesus. Okay. Okay, so here's the point. Like, queen a1 is, is a hideous blunder. So if I take his rook, he takes my rook. And if I take his rook, I get checkmated. Yep. So this is very bad. How is queen c3 so powerful? So I, will, you, I will explain. But if you go queen takes a2... Queen takes because a2... Oh yeah, this is he a goes funny. King c3. Yeah. Right? Okay, so king c3 I just I can take back I think and there are no problems. But oh. King d3 if I take back there's a there's a nice difference here. What? Yeah. So if the king is on uh This position. Oh, you have a rookie three, right? Is that the point. So uh. okay, so here, I'll I'll just say that if rook takes d seven, rook d eight. Oh, and your mate. Uh huh. Queen d four check. Jesus. King f eight. Oh wait, no, that wasn't the point. What was my point? I had a point. I swear to God, I had a point. <laughs> uh. Hold on, I have to remember my my weird calculation that probably didn't make okay. sense. That was like a week ago. 
Yeah. It's tough. Oh yeah, this was the point. Yeah. The Queen's Trap. Ah. Yeah, I, I, I had a point. I was like, this move is better. That's cool. That's cool. But I thought it had something to do with the... Anyway. But both, like, King, king D3 and King C3 are funny, because your king goes so much up, and, like, the, your queen is useless. All of a sudden. Right, yeah, This the, the whole point is just to save this diagonal. I thought I knew it had something to do with this diagonal, but I was afraid it was something to do with my king. No, it was it was, mm -hmm, it was mm -hmm. this. Yeah. Rook takes d7 at the end? What? What did I miss? Okay, I'm, I, what was I saying? I said takes, takes... Oh, and you think rook d7, check... Then what? Oh, that's illegal. That's what. Okay. But you. Okay, I mean, I just take though. You'll be down the exchange. Yeah. I okay. Listen, I I just listen. I didn't see any of that. I just thought. No, but still, this is losing for black, right? I guess. Well, regardless, like this isn't this isn't what I want. <laughs> like even exactly exactly. Best case scenario, like my queen is all fucked up. Yep. When it was a god on f six. Yes. Okay, so let me explain why Queen C3 is so good. I only spent a little bit of time on this move and then a little bit in the postmortem. Um, because I saw how strong Queen C3 was, they didn't really care. If, like, why am I just going to go take a pawn? Oh, okay. okay. So this move is so very strong because if he goes King D1, then the knight is hanging. Yep. That's just like a thing. I can't take it right away. Um, but I can play Queen D3, like, always repeat. I don't know. Take back. I need us to defend this. This is coming in. Yeah, the the time control was like game ninety, and uh, what five second delay. Uh right? yeah yeah or ten second? No five. I don't remember. I don't remember if it was five or ten second. I think it was ten. Could um, be ten. Yeah. So like he has to play like rook d one and then rook e two and I like I don't know. Yeah, rook e two was so good. That's why bishop d three. I mean. But okay, the bigger point awesome. is that when I take back here, this is like a mate, almost. Yeah. So so in but like oh, uh, here, your pieces are so good now. So here, the, yeah, you can just do this. Go ahead. All right, no, he can't. Or yes, he can. He can just do this. Maybe one. Um. But if the king is on d one, he can't do that. Which is the point of queen c three no, to push the king but over. Even, even here, we thought. Uh, like you can take on e8, and then you will play rookie too. Yeah, yeah, and I think this looks good. I think this looks very because, good. Like you have like these threats if he defends. Yeah. Like queen a3, you can take on a2 with the rook. I mean, maybe black is winning here. And also, what, a funny thing, he can never go back to diagonal because the knight defends e5, and your queen defends the whole diagonal. Yeah, I, I, um, I just, I pretty much only saw the that you check and then push him over and then that's a threat. And that if he goes <laughs> over this way, the knight doesn't have many squares that are great. And if he goes somewhere like this, then I have a check, you know, and I'm still picking it up, which is good mm -hmm. enough. That was like the most of my calculations here of queen c3. All you have to really know to choose queen c3 over this move is that this move doesn't do anything, really. And this move does. <laughs> yeah. Good way of putting it. I look at the time now. Wait. I you had... I didn't have any serious calculation in this position. I was just like, night hanging. Looks great. Yeah. You had 25 minutes and he had 6 minutes. Something. We always That's repeat crazy. moves, though. <laughs> if possible. Yep. I think I did that once this weekend, didn't I? In Stuane? Or at least I was going to if he allowed it. Uh, after queen b3, or what? Yeah, if if he went uh, queen after queen f3, queen b3. Yeah, if you if you went back to d3, I was gonna play queen c4. Queen c4, yeah. And repeat moves, um, but then I would find something else. But mm -hmm. just to give him more opportunity to make a mistake. Yeah, um, but that game was with increment, so they are repeating. Does make sense? Yeah, repeating here would just be in case he decides to do this, which I think is a worse move. Mm -hmm. Okay, but because um, maybe he thinks he's winning. I don't know. So this is the okay. point. Um, Queen c3 is just devastating. This is what happened in the game. 
Um, he doesn't have a good way to defend the knight, so he attacked my bishop. Yeah, this was just... I don't know. His, yeah, rook d1, rook e2, he still can't defend this. Yeah. It's just awful. Like, bishop h3 made his bishop look like your bishop on b7. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there were scenarios like, where the bishop might be useful here, but it just didn't happen. Yeah, exactly. Like, okay, you're attacking the d7 pawn, but it's not going to win you the game. Right. And here... Uh, oh, yeah, I can just defend the, the thing. Yeah, he yeah. I guess I could do that yep. in the other position, technically, but what I did was better. Um, yeah, I think what you did was, yeah. Mate inevitable. <laughs> yeah, I think mate is better. Yeah. No, I didn't lose to three GMs. There were just three GMs at the tournament. I didn't play all three GMs. <laughs> okay. Unlucky. So anyway, I don't know. That was like rough psychological torture for me. But I think I need I needed a game like that that I actually won for once to mm -hmm. regain my confidence. Yay, losing streak over. Fuck yeah. All done losing streak today. Losing streak tomorrow. <laughs> Lose tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. What did we think of that game? Did the fish say it? the stockfish? My head hurts. Let me look at the graph here. My head hurts again. What is this graph? Th this was this was queen e four. Yeah, but this was knight c eight. Knight c eight was the biggest one. So c five here is white is just a lot better. What was we were saying knight f five. Yeah. Queen c3, but we said it didn't matter, and I just go d5 here. What is d5? Yeah, but it says knight f3. Oh, and it's like that same idea. Same bishop h3. Knight. Ma Ooh. Except I don't, I don't have time to play g5. Ooh. Ah. Ooh, yucky. Ugh. Okay, sure. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, white is just winning, almost. What did it think of my g5 move, by the way? Let me let me go to that. Where where was that? Uh, it was later on a bit, yeah? Um, here? Okay, yeah, here. Is this? Yeah, yeah, g5 here. Yeah, it likes g5. Castles. Wow. I mean, by like... Oh, you can't even see the board. <laughs> by like, Wait, it's um... like minus two for me, but it oh. could be minus three if I don't do that. That's awesome that g5 is the best. Well, it's like the only way to not yeah. bend over. <laughs> That's what that nice. one is. Okay, it's still equal here. That's pretty surprising. What does he do? Well, yeah, be because of queen oh, yeah, c5, I think. Yeah, bishop d3. <laughs> defending your king, because your king is alone. I still like, like black There's bear. no pawns. <laughs> yeah, I can see. But it likes white. Because... Because your king at least has some buddies, but his king is wide uh, open. It, wide open and, it, and it's cold. That's right. I log the angle. Yep. This is the computer line that it gives. Uh. Uh. This isn't so bad. This isn't that bad. I think black is fine. Sure, but it's a technical end game. Yeah. It's not yeah. good, but I didn't lose, like, immediately. Yeah. How did I win with a bishop like that? I... I don't know, it, it just went to b7 and then it just stayed there. And then he it, took it. It was a bait. Yeah, it was bait. was a bait. He yeah. took it and then he got checkmated. <laughs> it was so bad that he got poisoned by it. 